Hello again, Bill Pfeiffer speaking from uh, Mary's Field. Do remember the subscribe and like button, and do remember to watch the, the Chosen. It will touch your heart and and uh, and, uh, and, and transform a, a lot of things from the inside out. The uh, transformation, that's what we're about, aren't we, huh? True story. There was a psychiatric hospital near Chicago staffed with eminent psychiatrists and all kinds of drugs that uh, that were meant to fill the feel to fix all kinds of problems. Bertha was a patient in the hospital. Bertha rocked back and forth in her rocker all day long for 10 years, never speaking a word. Tom was a janitor whose main job was to clean the floors. One day, Tom decided to pull up a rocker and rock with Bertha while having his lunch. And after about two months of having lunch with Bertha and rocking with her, Tom decided to spend some time with her before he went home after work. After about four months, one day, as Tom was leaving work after rocking with Bertha, Bertha said, Good night, Tom. From there, little by little, Bertha began to speak. Six months later, Bertha was discharged, found a room to live in, and a job at McDonald's. What is it that Tom did? What did he provide that this well-staffed and well-fixed-up-with-drugs-and-so-on hospital couldn't or didn't supply? You know, they, Jesus said to us, love one another as I have loved you, huh? Mother Teresa once said, if you want to bring happiness to the whole world, go home and love your family. I think when we die, uh, the Lord is going to ask us three questions. Who are you? How did you live? How did you love? And why weren't you happy? And maybe in fourth, who'd you help along the way? You know, in this particular story, the hospital should have paid Tom about $150,000 a year to, uh, to spend time rocking with people who weren't speaking. He could have healed them and healed them all, huh? So keep on doing good, especially rocking with the people that you live with. Uh, they're the ones that really matter. You know, bring happiness to this whole world, how? But go home and love one, love the people that you're living with. That really makes the difference. Happiness tomorrow always depends on doing the truth today. Good to be with you. God bless. Keep me in your thoughts and prayers, and you are in mine. Thank you.